I'm Coach Charles with Fit Health USA, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Recipes with Coach Charles. Before we get started with an actual recipe, we need to um, grind up some edamame because this is going to be an essential ingredient uh, with smoothies of all different kinds. The edamame will be our protein that we're adding to the smoothie for a complete meal. So, um, I use Seapoint Farms edamame dry roasted and lightly salted and the reason why I use it is because it's the only one I've found that's non-GMO and that means it's not a genetically modified organism. Almost all other soybeans here in the United States are. I've always been curious because you've talked about how you make your smoothie and what you put in it. And, uh, soybeans, so how do, you, how do you put a soybean in a smoothie? Because <laughs> they're big. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first thing I do is I put them into uh, my Blendtec blender. And if you have a coffee grinder or a food processor, uh, you could use that to grind up the soybeans as well. And the reason why I want to grind up the edamame is so that when you drink your smoothie, you don't have a bunch of uh, hard pieces in there. You want it to be a very smooth, uh, consistent product. Otherwise, you want to enjoy drinking it. Um, and that, that means then you won't actually use it. So, first step is to get this prepped up. And you don't have to do this very often. Maybe once every few weeks, once a month, uh, you get started with it. So, I use the Blendtec because this is something we do all the time. In fact, over the past few years, I've used this machine 1,859 times. So even though it cost me $400, and now Costco has them for like $329, um, I got my money back on the machine a long time ago. But you could also use a much cheaper blender, such as uh, the, the Magic Bullet, or a $100 blender and that type of thing. It's just this is a professional grade, and I have a family of five, and so I decided to invest the money. Okay, so to get these going, um, I'm just going to turn on the blender and gradually ratchet up the speed. And let it run. And then I'll just kind of mix it up, shake it around. And you can already see. that it's ground up quite a bit. But we want to get it to this consistency. Looks like a fine powder. Yeah, like a fine powder. That way when you put it into your smoothie, you won't really taste it as being a separate component. powder in there. Then, um, this was just a big container of the dry roasted edamame that I bought kind of like four or five years ago. <laughs> and uh, I just dump it in there. And then you've got some around the edges here. Take a spoon or a knife or something. Break it all up. Okay. Now we're going to make a smoothie, so I don't really need to clean this up. But normally, uh, to clean this up, all I would have to do is run a little water from the kitchen sink, uh, hit the pulse button, and then uh, add a little bit of soap to it rinse it all out and, and you're done. You don't have to run it through the dishwasher or anything like that. Now, I have a scoop that I use and two of these scoops is 30 grams. Uh, and so one serving size, you always look at the nutrition facts in the back of whatever package you have to find out what the nutrition size is. And it says one serving size is one quarter cup or 30 grams. Um, so, I used my little kitchen scale I'll bring it back over. There's my little kitchen scale. 
and I weighed uh, how much one of these held, found out it was 15 grams, so I know that when I'm making a smoothie, I want two scoops to throw in there. I got this scoop from an old protein um, box that I'd bought some time back, um, but just about anything will do. You could even use um, a standard kitchen scoop. You know what I did? Huh? I just, because I didn't have one of your scales, I, uh, I measured a quarter cup of the edamame, mm -hmm. put it in the coffee mill, ground it up, and then I measured how much that was in my scoop. Ah! So. <laughs> you you got to use what's at hand. Yeah, use what's at hand. Um, don't let the little things stop you. It's so easy to say, well, I don't have a scoop. and I don't have a um, scale. And I don't have a scale. I don't have a blender. <laughs> I, I don't have this. I don't have that. You know, you can go out and buy all this stuff, or you can make do with what you have. And what if you're off a few grams? Uh, you know, you end up putting 40 grams in instead of 30 or 20 instead of 30. It's not really going to be that big a deal. Uh, you're going to be just fine. Okay, so um, that's all we do to create the ground edamame. Um, make up two weeks, four weeks, five weeks at a time, and then that way when you get up in the morning and you're making your smoothie, you don't have to take this extra step. You're gonna save you several minutes. All you have to do is open up your container, go in, scoop, scoop, and you're done. We'll see you next time.